as a continuous of our percentage calculation now today we will discuss some calculation regarding the semi solid dosage of form semi solid dosage form mean the dosage form which are in the semi solid state like ointments creams pastes these are the some semi solid dosage forms ointments are the preparation which are in emulsifiable or miscible or immiscible with the skin secretions and are intended to be applied to the skin a certain mucous membrane for their emollient protective therapeutic or prophylactic purposes where a degree of occlusion is desired occlusion mean to protect from where is a uh, what are the creams cream is another dosage form semi solid dosage. they are uh, essentially miscible with the skin secretion and are intended uh, to be applied to the skin or certain mucous membrane for protective therapeutic or prophylactic purposes especially where a degree of occlusion or occlusive effect is not uh, necessary and what is about these pastes pastes are semi solid preparation that contain large proportion of solid and are intended for application to the skin they are more stiffer less greasy and more absorptive and more concentrated than ointments now we will solve different uh, problem regarding the semi solid dosage form calculation first uh, problem is uh, how many grams of 2.5% hydrocortisone should be mixed with 360 gram of Point two by point two five percent cream to make a one percent hydrocortisone cream. So we are given a cream. Which is 360 percent, not 360 grams in weight, and 0.25 percent in concentration. We have to add this uh, 2.5 percent hydrocortisone to make uh, this 360 gram 0.25 percent cream more concentrated. That is, the final concentration should be. One percent. For this purpose, uh, we will use a technique uh, that uh, we will write here: two point five percent. This cream or this hydrocortisone, this will be mixed with the point two five percent. hydrocortisone cream to produce 1% hydrocortisone cream so if we subtract this 1 from 2.5 we will get 1.5 so 1.5 parts of uh, this 0.25%
creams must be in the final dilution to make 1% hydrocortisone cream. If we subtract this 2.5 from 1, we will get to 0 0.75 parts. So 0 0.75 parts of 2.5% hydrocortisone must be there in the final dilution to make 1% hydrocortisone cream. If we add this, uh, we will get 2.25 total parts. So we solve this total two parts and total two parts there is a 0.75 parts of 2.5 percent hydrocortisone cream what is represented by this the 2.75 are present and 2.25 parts if we simplify this now we will get uh, 1 1 by third this means that uh, one part of 2.5 percent cream should be used to make this one percent final dilution and this uh, 1.50 divide by 2.25 what does this mean this is a roundabout if we simplify this huh? it's 2 3 2 by 3 this means that uh, 2 parts of 0.25 percent of creams will be there in the final dilution or we can say that uh, this 360 gram makes two parts of the final dilution to make one percent uh, hydrocortisone cream now we simplify this more and more this mean that one part uh, of 2.5 percent cream and two parts of 0.25% cream this should be mixed to make one part of a uh, full part of 1% hydrocortisone cream so we can write this in this way proportion in two parts that is th 360 gram of hydrocortisone cream two parts are present in a 360 grams of hydrocortisone cream so how many parts will be present in a 3 parts will be present in how many grams of hydrocortisone cream as we know that uh, we have to add 2.5% uh, hydrocortisone to these 360 grams to make it 1% uh, uh, which is actually 0.25% uh. so the 360 gram hydrocortisone cream hydrocortisone cream represents parts are two parts represent 360 gram of hydrocortisone cream now three part will be represent how many gram of hydrocortisone or how many gram of hydrocortisone are required for the three part now the number of parts are increasing 
from 2 to 3 so the gram of hydrocortisone required are hydrocortisone in which three parts will be present will also be increased so we will write it 2 divided by 3 is equal to 360 divided by x cross multiplied this 2x is equal to 3 multiplied by 360 x is equal to 3 multiplied by 360 divided by 2 and this x will be equal to 540 grams two parts will be present in 360 gram three parts will be present in 540 grams it means that uh, we have to add uh, 2.5 percent hydrocortisone cream to make a total of uh, 540 grams so what does this mean that uh, 540 gram total cream will be prepared in which one third part will be 2.5 percent hydrocortisone or 3 18 or 180 grams will be 2.5 percent hydrocortisone Three sixty grams will be point two five per cent hydrocortisone cream. When this uh, combination will be made, the total five forty grams creams will be up, cream will be obtained which will be one percent which will containing one percent hydrocortisone it means that 540 gram of this cream will contain one percent hydrocortisone thanks for watching